Kelsey Taylor here. Welcome to another Nostalgia Critic Top Favorite Episode video. Today I'm going to be talking about five favorite episodes from season five. <laughs> A lot of fives here, huh? Well, anyway, um, this is the season that um is kind of like I believe the shortest, um, because of this was the year where he Doug Walker decided to retire the Nostalgia Critic character like almost permanently, and then I guess like at the beginning of 2013 he decided to bring the character back, and now. He's been going on for a few more seasons since, so <laughs> so there's not a lot of episode favorites um, I have here. I only count them as five, you know, not that tough to do. And um, I do have some honorable mentions, like some episodes that could have made the list, but um, they decided to be on the honorable mentions um, side instead. Anyway, and they are the top 11 Simpsons episodes, Signs, and his review of Star Trek V. Now, there's not a lot, so um, let's get on to the main five episodes from Season 5 that are considered my favorites. Number five. Yes! Okay, maybe the kid with severe Tourette's syndrome would respond that way, but this is not the normal response for a ten-year-old. Could you imagine Harry Potter reacting this way at age ten? Mr. Potter. Yes! It was pretty hard trying to find an appropriate clip for this. I decided to add that because that one literally makes me laugh. Now, um, I loved Robin Williams, but I've never seen this movie. And, um, but what, when the review came out, it was really funny to watch at the time Robin Williams was still alive, and um, it was where, um, it was okay for him to poke fun of him just slightly, even though the movie itself, like, I've, even though I've never seen it, and directed by the same director of The Godfather, that's so surreal. I mean, I don't know, but a very funny review, and, um, like, a little bit is kind of like now tough to watch now that Ron Williams has died. It's really hard to watch it now. But um, it is um, still one of my um, favorite reviews. Like it could have been higher, but with the death of Ron Williams, it's just at the bottom of the list, you know. But um, a very fun review. Definitely go check it out if you haven't seen it. All right, number four. Pineapple wants ham! All she thinks about is ham, Mom. <laughs> Kawaii! Kawaii! This was his um, 200th um, episode special, and um, it's 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 really funny. Um, and um, as for the movie Ponyo, that's another one I've never seen, and one I really want to see. Like I remember when I think it came out to theaters. Like I remember at this one movie theater, they had posters everywhere for Ponyo. It was it was directed by you know Miyazaki. I'm sure I'm not butchering his name. Um, he directed um, Spirited Away, which I have seen. I thought that was a great movie. Ponyo looks cute as well with the animation stuff. It has great anime style from Miyazaki. Anyway, there's posters all over the movie theater, and um, we have not seen a trailer for it. And I guess it didn't stay in theaters for too long here, so I don't know. But um, that's another movie I'm interested in seeing, <laughs> especially at the beginning where um, Nostalgia Crazy says, I'm going to review Ponyo, and the fans supposedly look pissed in the back than in the front, I don't know. <laughs> They're kind of like more laughing, like beating him up, like, oh, how dare you, you're gonna review Pony, you're gonna say bad stuff about it, and he really doesn't. Go watch the review, um, one of my favorites as well. Number three. My own recipe. Way more dangerous. Could I say my line any closer to the camera? <laughs> Ow. Now, I have only seen the first three Alien movies, so, um, like, 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 I would say, like, Alien Theory was actually the weakest. I've never seen Alien Resurrection on any, any other ones. Alien was kind of interesting in a way. Um, Aliens was um, the best one, but, um, it's just, like, I'm not really to horror films, like I've mentioned before. It's not really my cup of tea. Like, um, like, the gross out scenes... Like, the death scenes were pretty gory and extreme. I just don't like watching them. So, if you really like the Alien series, cool. I'm not going to hammer you for that. No problem whatsoever. Um, Alien Res Resurrection, a really funny review. He, I love how he pokes fun at the um, the actress, you know, who whines like a little kid or something. I, I know her name for some reason. I can't pronounce that. And um, a lot of fun jokes. And um, Brad Dorf in it as well. And uh, other things. I, I don't have that much left to see on Alien Resurrection. I just like, you know, give my, uh, you know, my own thoughts on the series as a whole, even though I've not seen Alien Resurrection. Boy, does that look stupid compared to the other Alien movies. <laughs> like, I'm sure it's entertainingly bad, but I don't know. It just doesn't fit the tone well for Alien Resurrection. I'm almost making it like a comedy, like, unintentionally funny. It's not supposed to be like that. You know, that's all I have to say on that. Number two. 
Raidramon, the storm of friendship. Would that get old after a while? Critic opens refrigerator. Critic drinks milk. Critic gives incredibly annoyed look. Critic walks off screen. Critic kicks the narrator in the balls. <laughs> and the narrator feels incredible pain. Now this is one of the crossover reviews he did in season five for with this anime fan I'm blanking on her name right now. And uh, like I remember seeing ads for the Digimon movie like um, like when it came out and I've never I actually never watched the Digimon movie. I was more of a Pokemon fan, although I have seen sporadic episodes of the original Digimon series, and I'm, I'm pretty sure it's still going on, from what I heard. I'm just, I don't know, I don't know. So about Digimon, like, I really don't know. Like, from the looks of the movies, it looks very messed up, like, not paced very well. Um, Pokemon, t even though I've been following Pokemon in, in many years now, since the Generation 2 days, I believe, I'm more a fan of the original um, franchise of Pokemon. I don't know. I, um, I just enjoy Pokemon more than I do for Digimon. But another fun review, I used to watch a lot and a lot of funny jokes and yeah, this is just the same deal. Funny jokes, funny humor, a lot of things that crack me up. And yeah, and um, I don't I didn't know what to add for um, the video. So what you see is what you see in there. And my parrot Steve's phone. <laughs> and of course the parrot line he adds in from Flying Circus as well. No, that's really cool, it did parrot. I don't know, whatever he puts in my Python lines, it makes me smile. Alright, here's my number one favorite. My number one favorite episode from season five of the NC is... You just put teeth on garbage cans! What's next? A drawer that eats people? A drawer! A drawer! Oh my god, a drawer! A drawer, 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 drawer! Now this is the one crossover review they did with Todd in the Shadows, who's this music reviewer on Channel Awesome as well. Um, this is the one he filmed at um, Con Bravo, this convention in um, Canada, and um, I like the review a lot. I think it's his best um, that season, um, and I've never seen The Wiz. I've never seen the the Broadway show, so it's kind of like based off off The Wizard of Oz as a musical. And <laughs> boy, like I really hope this movie gets a remake. Like it 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 can, it can be done now nowadays. Just not who knows. Maybe it'll be the same thing as what what it looks in the movie. You know, like set in New York City and stuff, so, I mean, I really don't know, like, this movie should not be hard to make good from the looks of it, but, <laughs> and would you believe Joel Schumacher, the director of Batman and Robin, wrote this? Damn. So, um, yeah, I don't have that much to say on that, um, that's one of my favorite nostalgia critic, um, reviews, uh, and, uh, I'm glad that, he, um, even though he temporarily ended his, um, run of the series for a little while to do another web show that um like to be honest I didn't have any problem with it and then I guess he decided to bring the character back which was this was a few years ago now he's still going strong I probably even more popular than you know at that time so anyway that's my um top five favorite episodes in Stodge Critic from season five and uh and um I'll get down to do more um down the line I just have to Catch up in the other seasons. Hell, I have a lot of free time, so I better go work on that now. I'll catch you guys next time. See you later.